today I have this huge stack of books next to me because I wanted to tell you guys about books that I recommend for new readers. Whether you're someone who used to read a lot and kind of fell out of it, I certainly was in that boat just last year and now I read like a crazy person. Or even if you're someone who has never been much of a reader but you want to start getting into it, this book is for you. This book. This video is for you. <laughs> But also these books are for you as well. My first recommendation is... I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I literally... Y'all, I'm packing my apartment right now and I left this book out just to make that cheesy joke. Anyways, that was a joke. Moving on. But in all seriousness, my first recommendation is going to be some type of mystery with short chapters. In general, a majority of these books have very short chapters, and I think that that's extremely important for someone who's getting into reading. It's such an easy way to just read a little bit at a time. You can read a chapter or two a day, and before you know it, you've finished a book. So I definitely recommend short chapters in any book, but in this case, I'm recommending a mystery because I think there's enough twists and turns to keep you interested. And for this recommendation, I'm going to recommend The Inheritance Games by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. And the reason I recommend this specifically is because the chapters are extremely short. I'm talking like two to three pages max. The first book on its own, The Inheritance Games, can just be read on its own. I think it stands the test of time. It is such a good read. It is fast paced. It's not super long. It's maybe like three or, or I guess it's close to 400 pages but the font is really big and there's a lot of chapter breaks so it definitely does not feel that long and even when you get to the end of the book like it does end setting up for the next book but not in a way that if you didn't read the next book you would feel like you had an incomplete story like I think this story can stand on its own if it needs to so I definitely recommend this and then if you're not really feeling it you can just read the first one and not feel like you're missing out or if you love it, there's two more books to read. And then bam, all of a sudden you have three books that you've read. So I definitely recommend this. It's a YA series, but I read it as an adult and didn't feel like, oh my God, this is so YA. It's really good. I recommend it. Speaking of books that are fast paced and will continue to keep your attention chapter after chapter, I recommend thrillers for that. One author that people really enjoy is Lucy Foley. Here I have The Guest List and The Paris Apartment. She has other books, but these two books are ones that are recommended regularly. I personally thought that they were both very similar. I feel like you can choose one or the other and have about the same experience. So I would say with these, just pick up whichever one feels like it'll be more enjoyable for you. This one is about a wedding that takes place on a remote island and creepy spooky things start happening. And this one takes place in Paris. A woman shows up to her brother's apartment and he is nowhere to be found. And the neighbors are being sus. Depending on what vibe you're going for, if you want remote stranded island or Paris vibes, Choose whichever one sounds the best to you and it'll definitely keep your attention. A lot of people recommend Lucy Foley for that and I do agree with that recommendation. However, I wanted to add another author to the list because I just highly recommend her. Sherry LaPena. Her books keep me interested and I will binge her books in like a day, literally like 24 hours. And this one specifically is the one that I highly highly recommend. It's one of her most popular works for a reason. I think about this book every couple of days and I read it last year. I love this book. There are so many twists and turns. There's so much happening. You're like, oh my god, did that really just happen? Like I found myself when I was reading this book, I would like read a page and then I'd have to go back because I was like, did that just happen? Crazy recommend it. Next up, I'm recommending this book because it is the book that got me into reading. I read this book and I went from not really reading at all to reading 70 books last year and this year I am currently on my 110th book of the year and it's July. It's technically August. It just became August. Regretting You by Colleen Hoover. Now listen, some people are seeing Colleen Hoover and they're screaming, okay? 
and to that I say, grow up. Pauline Hoover is, in my opinion, a really great way to get into reading because her books are genuinely really interesting. Are they the best thing you've ever read? No. But will they keep your attention and are there a lot of twists and is it a good time? Yes. This book was recommended to me by my mother-in-law. She's not a big reader at all, but she read this and loved it. This got her into reading as well. So I recommend this one specifically. This one is a dual POV about a mother and a daughter who are going through some stuff. I don't want to give away too much because I went into this book blind and I recommend it that way. The twist right at the beginning shook me to my core and kept me reading even after not having read much at all that entire year. So I recommend going in blind. It's a really good time. If you want to get into reading, just pick this one up. Why not, right? If you're someone who wants to get into reading, but the thought of a full length novel is intimidating to you, I recommend graphic novels or manga. That is still reading. People who say it's not reading, you're wrong. It's still reading. And I have some recommendations in that category for you. First up is Meg, Joe, Beth, and Amy. This is a retelling of Little Women, but it's a graphic novel. And it is seriously so cute. Like, it is so wholesome, so cute. I read this in one night. It's such... I just... I love it. I think it's technically considered a middle grade book or like a YA but it didn't feel that way. For a manga recommendation, I recommend Death Note. I read this this year and I actually have a reading vlog on it if you're curious. It does have spoilers though, so beware. But if you haven't read this or maybe you read it when you were younger, I recommend reading it now. It definitely holds up and was such a good time. Like this series is seriously so bingeable and that's what you need if you're trying to get into reading. You need something that's gonna like you can just inhale, you know? Another graphic novel recommendation is absolutely the Heartstopper series. This series is so good, so cute. If you like the show, why not pick up the book? It is so easy to get through. You can read all four volumes in a day if you wanted to, that it seriously flies by. And it will have you kicking your feet and screaming because it's so freaking cute. Highly recommend for new readers especially, but really for anyone. All of these are for anyone, to be honest. You don't have to be a new reader to enjoy these. If you are wanting to pick up a childhood classic, don't be afraid to do that. I personally read Harry Potter the entire series. I actually listened to the audiobooks for this, which is the way I recommend reading these, especially as a new reader. In general, as a new reader, don't be afraid of audiobooks. First of all, people who say that doesn't count as reading either are liars. It does count as reading. Don't let people's opinions about what is and isn't reading or what is or isn't considered a book intimidate you. They're being annoying and elitist and we don't like them. So it's reading, okay? Tangent aside, I definitely recommend these for a good old time if you're a Harry Potter fan. Do I recommend buying these new? Absolutely not. Please do not give this author your money, but you can buy them used. That's what I did. You can also get them from your local library and not spend any money at all. Yeah, <laughs> I recommend this. I do not recommend the author, obviously. Maybe you're someone who wants to get into romance. Well, I definitely have a recommendation for you for that. Better Than the Movies by Lynn Painter. This is such a cute book and yes, it's a YA romance, but you don't have to like YA to read this. Or if you don't like YA, she has other books as well that are adult romances. Specifically, she has one book called Accidentally Amy, which is really short, easy to get through. It's on Kindle Unlimited, and I, I'm obsessed with it. I love Accidentally Amy, and it's fairly short, so it's an easy one to get through. If you don't like spice and you want something that is... A little bit more accessible because I know like this is available in so many places. Better Than the Movies is also a good option as well. In general, Lynn Painter I think is great for new readers. Last but not least, I have another YA book, Ace of Spades. This is the book, this is kind of random, but this is the book that I recommend to a majority of people who are getting into reading because again, it is just so highly bingeable. Like I ate this book up when I read it. It is so good. 
There's an audiobook for it as well that your local library more than likely has. That audiobook is amazing. This is a thriller that is a mix of Gossip Girl, Pretty Little Liars, and what's the other one? Oh, Get Out. That's how it was described to me. I was like, okay, we'll see if it lives up to that hype. Y'all, it is that. Like, it lives up to that 100%. So if that premise sounds interesting to you, please pick this up. These are my recommendations for new readers, but honestly, they're also just my recommendations in general. Like I think they're just good books regardless. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to be a part of a book community now that you're getting into reading, why not stick around? This is the perfect place. We are a judgment-free zone. Whether you read a hundred books a year or one book a year, you're welcome here. Even if you don't read at all, you're still welcome here. Like I don't judge. So thank you so much for watching and until next time, bye.